morning, guys. It's 7.30 a.m. Uh, I'm going to be eating my first meal at 8 o'clock. I already cooked all my meals yesterday, and my mom helped me out because, as you can see, I'm a little tanned up. Uh, I'm going to be having some sweet potatoes and lean chicken, ground, ground chicken. I was about to say ground beef. Ground chicken. And, yeah, it's early. I got a decent amount of sleep. I went to sleep about 10.30. Uh, woke up early in the morning at like 5 in the morning, went back to bed, woke up now at 7.30, so I got another 2 hours, which is good, and I'm feeling a little bit more rested than I was when I woke up at 5. It's a little hard to sleep because you're just thinking about the competition, you're nervous, all that kind of stuff. Right now, I just gotta get rid of those nerves, get rid of everything, I'm just gonna bring what I can bring. Uh, bring who Mio Executo is, and who the real champion will be. So that being said, guys... Um, I'm gonna watch some Jason Genova. It's piss, it's sick, it's revolting, it's insulting. I'll be watching some of him, then I'll go eat some of my breakfast, and I'll check in with you guys afterwards. Meal number three, or number two finished, I'm um, having a banana. For my meal number two, it's over there. You guys, yeah, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Yeah, vegetables. My meal number two was vegetables. Or, yeah, it was vegetables, because I started eating it, noticed and remembered that I steamed them, so they're full of water. So I only had maybe two, three scoops, maybe four, and I'm having a banana. It's about 10 o'clock, 10 a.m. I had my first meal at around 8 o'clock and it was my sweet potato fries and some lean ground chicken. So keeping it really dry, all the foods are going to try to keep it dry. I'm not going to have any more of those steamed vegetables. Next meal is going to be the same thing, um, lean ground chicken and uh, I don't know how I'm going to keep forgetting this is lack of water, you know, and, and the uh, lack of carbs actually. and the. Um, Actually, lack of carbs and carbon up, what am I saying? <laughs> and these sweet potato fries. Uh, next thing is going to be Subway. I'm going to be having my uh, whole wheat bread with um, steak and cheese with no cheese. And I'm just going to have no vegetables on that because of the water, of course. So I'm just going to have plain bread and steak at like around 2 o'clock. I'll be going on stage around 5 so by then it should be fine, I should be able to, you know, if I need to do the washroom or any of that. With the bananas is good because the potassium, you don't um, cramp up on stage. Last show I had maybe two or th I think I had three bananas. I had quite a bit of bananas. And next thing is to have, instead of Gatorade, I'm going to have apple juice. I noticed this particular apple juice that I got has sugar, and that's when you need like a slightly sugary drink before you go on stage. Uh, obviously it's a sips, sips of sugar, not like chugging the drink and it's gonna be, it's high potassium so good with cramping up and whatnot. Uh, if I need to digest anything quickly my stomach will be able to flow through with it. Uh, what else has in it? There's not a lot of sodium and that's what I noticed with the Gatorade, it had a lot of sodium so maybe it made me have to hold onto a lot of water weight when I was on stage, maybe it didn't look as cut because of that, I still have to get the pictures and everything but this will help a bit more because of the lack of sodium that I'll be having. And it's what I'm doing differently from last competition to this competition as well is I am not having any water uh, for today. Just for today. I had water yesterday, all those days, all the other days. And that's also depending on how my body reacts. If my body starts getting headaches, all that bad stuff, I will obviously incorporate water because it's very dangerous not to have water. 
Um, I noticed a lot of the foods I am eating already incorporate water, like this banana obviously has some water in it, you know, it's on a dried out banana. Uh, the fruits, I mean the vegetables I had, not fruits, uh, vegetables, the mixed vegetables has tons of water, so I only had a little bit. Uh, the, the, uh, sweet potatoes, <laughs> I just keep forgetting, the sweet potatoes, uh, have water in it as well because when you cook them and you put them in a Tupperware container, the steam rises up, but you just let the steam stay because you closed it for the night. So there's going to be tons of water in them, soaked to an extent. I just warm it up, eat it. There's even more. there's there's the water for the day, right? Uh, so I'll see how my body reacts, see what I need to do. You know, you come in with a game plan, but you also have to come in knowing that you might need to change it a little bit or adjust it, not really change it to a drastic amount, right? Um, but that's going to be the meals, everything for today. I'll show you guys a little bit when I go a couple places. Um, I already said before, my friend Cassian's going to be recording. Uh, I will be putting my friend Mario's recording on here as well, um, if that's okay with him, obviously. And yeah, it's going to be a good show, guys. Uh, I, hope I, get, I hope I get, I hope I give you guys a good show. I hope I give everyone else a good show. I mean, and they, they're there to see the best physiques of Edmonton, of everybody around Edmonton, you know, people who want to come, the ABBA. Let's do this, guys. We got how many more hours? About seven hours. Seven hours to the show. So, so ready. And I, I don't know, there's a song that I listen to all the time. It's called The Champ Is Here. The Champ Is Here, guys. The Champ. Yeah, the champ's here. We got Mario here, ready, ready to kick it, ready to go. Look at this, look how dark he is. God damn. Ooh, shreds. We got bodybuilding. What is that? The uh, body engineers. Body engineer. We got an athlete Since right here. Day one. Body, en <laughs> body engineers day one, right here. Mr. Paul. From Fort McMurray, athlete number 98, Colin Tobin. I'm gonna ask you to step back in line. Thank you. Mario! Mario! a boy! And number 164, Brandon Bay. People don't realize they're running. Yeah, no, yeah. In fourth place, athlete number 95, Jeremiah Kennedy. Just finished the show, definitely some tough competition. It was a lot of fun. Uh, obviously there's guys taking some juice, taking some stuff, and I did quite well for, you know, getting fifth place out of 12 competitors that 80% I'd say is on stuff. And I am natural, you guys know I'm natural. I compete in a natural show. I don't have to prove it no more. And I'm very happy. Everybody with there, everybody who competed in that class at least, were honestly the nicest guys. It was a great class, a lot of fun. Everyone was joking around, having fun. Everybody respect respected one another, and overall, it was honestly a great time. It was a good time. It was interesting though with the pump up. They had us pump up 40 minutes before we went on stage, about 40 to 30 minutes. Then they make us wait in a like waiting room for about 20, 30 minutes. Everyone's like what's going on right so what everybody did obviously was push-ups pull-ups whatever we can to pump up while you're just waiting in a waiting room but other than that uh, you guys saw I know um, I actually I want to thank Cassian for recording it was a lot of help I also showed my buddy Mario uh, he has a great physique really cut down 
obviously for both of us there's things to work on so you know you just gotta bring a better shape for next time but <laughs> Sorry about that, that was just my friend Cassia <laughs> saying bye. But um, yeah, a lot of fun. You know, stay tuned. Obviously guys, there's gonna be more coming. I'm gonna be, I'm now provincially qualified for another ABA, ABBA provincial qualifier or whatever. And because I've made a top five, I got fifth place. I think I should have got third, hard to say. Uh, it's The judges seem like they're looking for just really big guys and men's physique I think is more so proportion and like, you know, small waist, big shoulders, all that stuff, but you know, it's the way it goes, and I'll show you guys what I'm gonna be cheating on in just a sec. So, final impressions here. I'm gonna close this quickly. Final impressions of the competition. I know, I got fifth. I was hoping top three. I think I should have got third. Uh, it's hard to say, but they're just looking for big guys. It's just really obvious. Every single competition, uh, competition is different. Um, I'm surprised that for this judging that they want just big guys. I mean, I understand you're supposed to be big on certain areas, but it just seems like they're just looking for big bodybuilding type guys, and it's very interesting to see because if you look at, for instance, Jeff's side, he's not very big. He's winning a lot of shows, and it's not because of him just being huge. He actually looks aesthetic. He works on certain parts, his shoulders, his upper chest, and he brings those parts out and make them stand out. But with some of these guys that are winning, I'm very surprised to see that um, certain guys are getting certain placings. Obviously, it's very political in this industry, in in this competition, and I understand that. So I'm not getting my hopes down. I beat five, like I beat a ton of people. This is a very tough class. It was five out of twelve. I got fifth place out of twelve, and I am happy with that. Ninety percent of them were taking steroids, so. You know, I just got to stay clean, stay mean, stay hungry, stay fresh, stay ready to go, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that video, that little, you know, little competition. But I am now provincially qualified, so I can go for another show literally this week. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait till next year and do that show in June 28th. And I'm going to be doing another show, I believe, November or October. Uh, we'll have to see. But I'm coming for the INBF first place. Uh, men's physique class before I turn 19 and that's gonna be a tough one but I'm gonna bulk up till the end of August no actually to the beginning of August start cutting down because there's a show in September and show in October and November so that being said lots coming guys please stay tuned I hope you guys enjoyed this video once again thanks Cassian for everything and stay aesthetic guys I'll see y'all in the next one peace Definitely got to get myself some Ben and Jerry's. The Tonight Dough, Cookie Dough.